just emphasize how obsessed with this I am. I, when I moved to Japan for three years, I bought like 10 of them to take with me. This product, oops, man down. You can splurge on other things, but like, that one's so good. Spray more, you'll be okay. It's my favorite, it's so good. Am I gonna say that a million times? Yeah, because this is an ultimate favorites I'm gonna repurchase for the rest of my life type thing. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today's video I am insanely excited about. It is going to be my top 20 items that I'm going to be repurchasing for the rest of my life. <laughs> So I saw this video by Laura Lee and I was super inspired because I was just like, you know what, this is like, like my all time favorite staple products that I either have on repeat, have repurchased multiple times, have never found anything better. And I want to have it all in one place for you guys in case you're curious or just, I don't know, I think it's fun to see what new products people like, but those things, I mean, if you watch my empties video, a lot of these are going to come as no surprise, but then there are things that you just like don't go through, like clothing pieces, hair things, just tools, all that kind of stuff. But we're going to start with like the products that I actually go through quite a bit and I'm going to talk you through why I have never found anything better, why I'm going to repurchase them for the rest of my life, and I'm curious to see if you have any similars, similarities. Maybe you have products that are in my collection that you also feel the same way about, or if you think you found something better. I need to know. Share with me, I share with you, I love it. So please sound off in the comments if you have differing opinions or similar opinions. I'm always down to read your comments. So let's dive into the products. This is gonna be in no particular order. I'm just gonna pull and go, okay? I have it all like bundled here. I like honestly could think of these 20 things so freaking fast because they're part of my every single day life. Oh, I see one. Hold on, I forgot it. Let's just start with it. I had it out of my basket because I was putting it on my eyelashes. This mascara. No matter how many different mascaras I try, I always go back to this one. I've been using this one for probably 10 plus years. Honestly, not, obviously not this one. That's gross. And also not like in a row, but I started using this 10 years ago and it had been a favorite and you know when you just try different mascara and you like kind of hooked on it for a while and then you go back to the one that you were like obsessed with and you're like how did I ever stop using you Maybelline Lash Sensation it's perfection everything about it I love that it gives a really lengthened look you can also really build it to give it more volume but it's such a perfect mascara to show to just emphasize how obsessed with this I am. I, when I moved to Japan for three years, I bought like 10 of them to take with me because I could not be without it. I knew I loved it that much. And I actually had my parents send it to me in care packages if I ran out or something. They were, they are my favorite mascara of all time. So I'm a mascara junkie. I'm always looking for new mascaras. I'm always down to try new mascaras. I love the new Maybelline Falsies. I don't have it in here, but I just tried that one and I have a YouTube short on it. So I will link it up in the cards, but it's a good one as well, but I still, this ride or die. All right, this product, I think I've been using, or I started using this back when I was in college, which I graduated college 10 years ago. Oh my God. I was talking to my dad about that because I'm going back to Florida next week um, to celebrate Arlo's birthday. And I was like, I haven't been back to Florida besides like when I moved back from Japan, I went there to like get my stuff out of storage, but I have not been living in Florida for over like, or I graduated college 10 years and then I moved. It's been a long time, but I found DHC when I lived in, or when I was in college. And then when I um, was living in Japan, DHC obviously from Japan. So fell in love, started using their cleanser, but I fell out of love and stopped using it or didn't fall out of love. I stopped using it because I was wearing eyelash extensions all through Japan. So I stopped using this because you can't use oil-based cleansers to remove your makeup. That's what I was told at least anyways. So I just avoided it altogether. And then I think I used like 
random other cleansers and whatnot but i always prefer an oil cleanser and this one is on my amazon subscribe and save i always have this i will not be without it i've tried other cleansing oils i've tried bombs i like a couple of them but this one is just my favorite i love the consistency i like that it's just smooth it's not gritty like some bombs i feel like can have a little bit of a grit to them and i love this it's so sensitive um it doesn't mess up my eyes i have contacts and i I'm so blind that I cannot wash my face without having my contacts in and this one doesn't mess with my eyes like a lot of bombs do. So absolutely love this stuff. Removes everything. I don't wear waterproof makeup but it removes everything and it's seriously my holy grail oil based makeup remover. If you're not double cleansing you should. Um, let's just stick with skincare. <laughs> I have this guy. This is my Kiehl's um, Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. If you know, if you've been around here for a while, I used this all through my pregnancy and then after pregnancy and then I ran out because I had bought like two of these before I had left Sephora. I used to work for Sephora and I bought like two of these and then I ended up buying the giant bottle. And when I ran out of the giant bottle, I just decided to try things that were like in my collection and didn't go back to this and my skin just hated me literally hated me i still get occasional breakouts i have acne prone skin but if i'm not using this cleanser nothing cleanses my face enough um so i have to use this guy i will be repurchasing this for the rest of my life i will never steer clear from this guy it's just such a tried and true good product for me personally so if you think your breakouts might be from just dirt and grime on your face not properly cleansing it give it a go. Just try it. I am dry. I'm dry, especially since moving here to Illinois. I was never dry before having a baby, but I got dry after having a baby, like my skin, and then moving to a drier climate that doesn't have humidity. But I still need this, even though this has normal to oily skin. It doesn't dry my face out. It just doesn't provide hydration. But it's it's the only thing I swear by saves my skin. The other thing. Are we surprised? I feel like anyone who tries this product absolutely loves it. I need to know. If you've tried it and you don't love it, tell me in the comments. What didn't you love about it? What do you love more? It's my favorite. It's the Kos RX Advanced Snail Mucin. I've used snail mucin products since I fell in love with Tony Moly like years ago and then um, all through Japan, all through when I visited Korea, I used a lot of snail mucin products. It is exactly what it what it sounds like. It's snail mucin. But I swear by this. This just provides so much hydration to your face, but it's so lightweight that it doesn't like pill up underneath makeup. I can use this in the morning and at night, and I do. Um, after like an essence, I put this guy on, and I just feel like it locks everything in and just provides me with just like instantly glowy instantly like plumped skin um and i'm really going to purchase the moisturizer next to go with this but i have the sheet masks as well and i love them but this one i've already purchased like three or four of and i cannot see myself not having this in my routine ever okay so i know we all hear like sunscreen sunscreen scrunz, blah, 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 sunscreen have to be wearing sunscreen every day and I started really wearing sunscreen every day, I would say, or every day when I was like outside in about like 2017, 18, 19, 2018, 2019. I noticed my melasma in the in my forehead region was getting more pronounced and that actually happened before pregnancy. I honestly think it happened as a combination of sun, but also as a combination of being on long-term birth control when I had finally gotten off birth control since like for I was on it for over 10 years I gotten off it I went back on but I gotten off of it and I felt like this definitely got darker and I started noticing it and I realized what it was and it was melasma now I was in 2018 2019 I was using a physical sunscreen which definitely was not providing enough protection for my kind of melasma I also have heat activated melasma so I can't do like lasers or things like that so my dermatologist gave me like a whitening cream and I've been using that I use it on and off I don't use it all the time because it actually can make it worse so you want to go in like you just want to talk to your dermatologist but she recommended a tinted mineral SPF she said the tinted not only obviously like 
makes your skin look nice but it also actually physically blocks the skin same thing with the mineral it blocks the skin so no sun even gets in to your skin versus the chemical where the the razor still like slightly absorbed and then pushed out I'm talking as much as I know about sunscreen, but basically she recommended mineral and this mineral SPF was the first one that I ever truly fell in love with. They're coming out with so many more. I'm also obsessed with the, this guy here, the CeraVe, but I've recently started using this and it's, it's good, but if you're like wanting to fall in love with sunscreen to make it a habit first, I would still recommend this guy. This, I feel like, is more dark and doesn't go with everyone's skin tone if you're on the lighter side. But also, I just picked this up the other day. This is the Eucerin one, so I'm hoping this will replace this one. Only because this is $40. It's pricey. Now, if you really need SPF, it's an investment. It's obviously, it stops cancer from happening, like skin cancer. So it's, it's needed. I honestly feel like, yeah, it's needed, okay? And this one was the only one, didn't break me out. I enjoyed putting it on every day. I just hesitate with paying $40 for it because I put SPF on first thing in the morning and then I put it on before I put on my makeup. So I reapply only twice a day. I know you're supposed to reapply all the time. I'm not putting this over the top of makeup, come on. So unless I'm like outside, then I will find a way to like put extra on or like I won't have makeup on. If I'm gonna be like at the beach or at the pool or something like that, I will just keep reapplying this. But perfect tint, perfect like moussey, lightweight, blendable, hydrating, everything mineral SPF. I find that so many mineral SPFs are dry and like mattifying and I love this one. And I just know so many people recommend more expensive ones to me. I'm never gonna get behind spending more than $40 on a facial sunscreen. I just think it's craziness, but um, I do really love this Elta MD and I have repurchased this I would dare say over 20 times like it's that good um, in my opinion it is my favorite mineral SPF that I've ever tried so try it out if you are looking for a good facial SPF if you're looking for something a little more budget friendly the CeraVe is great I haven't tried the Eucerin like I pumped it on my hand but I haven't tried it I'm hoping it will kind of replace this it's still amazing and if $40 is within your monthly budget for skincare then this is a great one. Let's do a little bit of hair care. This is a shampoo that I have purchased for again probably four, five, six years. This specific one though. Don't go to any other like um not combination, not scent, but yes, yeah, scent. Um the Dove Derma Care Scalp. I suffer with dandruff every once in a while. If I'm regular with this and I use it as my first shampoo, it's fine and I don't suffer from it. Um, I just have an easy to build up scalp, especially when I'm sweating a lot during workout classes and whatnot. Um, I find that if my scalp is just really clogged, um, I can get like serious, like, like serious, serious scalp issues. And this one does not dry out my hair, which I think is so important. And it doesn't smell like um, those really harsh dandruff shampoos, but it works with daily, or not daily use, but with regular use. So you have to continue to use it. But this, the coconut and hydration, my favorite. Again, Scott uses it, I use it. I've been, if you watch my empties, I pretty much have one of these in it every single month. And I've been purchasing this for well over five years. I've tried the other ones within this and they just do not perform as well as this one. So try it out, it's creamy. It smells like, I don't know, like fresh. It doesn't have like a dandruff shampoo smell to it. I will say if you are suffering from really bad dandruff now, you have to use it regularly until you see results. It's not gonna like cure you after the first one, but with regular use, if I skip this during a step in shampoo, I notice. I notice my scalp just is easily irritated before I wash it the next time. All right, this guy is relatively a new find, but this is my second jar of it, and it's the fav my favorite purple product that I've ever tried. I've tried the Shimmer Lights. I've tried, um, I don't know, I've tried a lot of different purple shampoos throughout my life, and this one just kills two birds with one stone for me, and I can't imagine wanting anything else from a purple shampoo. It's not a purple shampoo, but a purple product to help with brassiness and toning your hair. This is the Bold Unique Purple Hair Mask. 
this is great because it like is the last step so purple conditioner i felt like would weigh my hair down and felt like producty in my hair like it sat on my skin my hair where this is a mask a hair mask so it hydrates your hair it makes it feel so silky and so luxurious because a lot of purple shampoos i felt like stripped my hair a little bit and the conditioner felt like it sat on my hair so i felt like i just was not finding what i want and i thought this would be too heavy but it had amazing reviews on amazon and i'm obsessed and you literally only need this on for like three to five minutes it is so freaking blue purple it's amazing everything about this if you have not tried it and you have purple or blonde hair give this a go it is so good it is worth every bit of hype that it gets and i will never not have one of these on deck at all times if you've tried anything else from their line let me know because i believe they have like a spray as well i'm not a huge leave-on product person for my hair i just like my hair to feel clean um but yeah this thing hydrates and it tones my hair in one so i just i'm left feeling just okay that's actually it oh no i actually have a tool for hair this product Oops, man down. <laughs> this guy right here, this is my curling iron from Conair. Y'all, like, like the letters are off, all the numbers are off. I've had this thing since since college. Um, I'm pretty sure I have like a tutorial when I first started YouTube um, 12 plus 13 years ago. Um, I am I'm using this curling iron, this exact same one. I don't know why people spend a ton on curling irons. My mom was a hairdresser and she used Conair tools as well. They're just good and there's really no reason to spend a million dollars on a curling iron. Um, yeah, Conair gets it done. I love it. I will be repurchasing these forever if I need to. Granted, this one's lasted well over 13 years. So I don't foresee me repurchasing it anytime soon but maybe maybe it'll finally die on me i hope not though but if it does it's ten dollars <laughs> so i love this and i just bought like a curling um brush from conair if you've not seen that video check it out it's so good i'm obsessed with it and um, it's how i got my hair today just kind of like a blowouty flippy sort of look did i give myself too too much volume there probably but this is it's everything. It's $10. You need it. I'm telling you, do not buy the Hot Tools, the T3. Get the Con Air. Get the Con Air. You can splurge on other things, but like, that one's so good. This. This is a newer-ish find. Did I find this at the end of last year? I bought Dossier with my own money and they work with me now and I couldn't be happier, but this dossier, Ambery Saffron specifically. I have so many different ones, but the Ambery Saffron I will be purchasing for my whole life. I don't think I will ever get sick of this fragrance. It's a uh, replica of the Baccarat Rouge. It's just, it's so good. If you haven't tried out dossier, I highly, highly recommend. The number one thing I hear about people saying they don't like about it is the longevity of the scent and i can tell you this if i wear this you can smell it on my sweater the next time i wear it if i don't wash it because i don't always wash my sweaters every single time perfection this one lasts but even if you're concerned about it not lasting girl this is like 50 bucks the real baccarat like 500 spray more you'll be okay you're not surprised. You are not surprised if you watch my empties or any sort of body care routine thing that I've had on my channel, the Naturium Biolipid Restoring Body Lotion. I was on the hunt for the best lotion. Like I remember talking to one of my girlfriends in Dallas and being like, what's your favorite body lotion? And we were like talking back and forth and she got me to try the um, Necessary, Nasari, whatever it is. Eh, it, eh, exactly, eh. I was like wanting more. This is the perfect mix between like a daily lotion and a body butter. Perfection. Non-scented. Love that. It's got everything. It's just everything. You can get it now at Target. But Naturium's site does have some really good bundles if you want to try their oil body wash as well. I love it, but I've only purchased it once, so I wasn't going to put it in here. This I purchased, I think, three or four times. And I already have another backup. I'm never without it. It's so good. I have to hide it from Scott because he's always using it. And I'm like, sir, you have way more body to cover than I do. I'm going to go through it way too fast. It's so good. And I never thought I would be somebody who's like, 
buy special lotion because I'm like that's kind of extra I would just thought that I would be like an Aveeno girl or Nivea or Vaseline or whatever but this there's nothing better there's literally nothing better I swear to you okay let's move into a little bit of makeup to end off this well wait wait let's do my one nail color that I think I will have on repeat for the rest of my life um OPI let's be friends who used to be like I had repurchased that probably three or four times. Now this guy, I've already repurchased it one other time. Once I found the Jesse or the Jesse, the Essie Gel Couture line, um, I really haven't gone back. This is OPI, but I really haven't gone back um, for like daily wear that like it's a color I know I want on my nails for a long period of time. This is so good. This is matter of fiction. It's just a nice milky, creamy, pinky white. It's perfect. The Gel Couture line, if you've never tried it, it lasts so long. It lasts on me 10 days if I really want to keep it on for 10 days, which is amazing. I like to paint my nails all the time. I love a fresh looking nail. My nails right now, they're like, they've lost their shine. <laughs> so I like to like repaint them all the time. But this color, I'll never be without it. It's so good. It's the perfect pinky, light pinky neutral for me. And I love the formula of these Jessie Essie Gel Couture's. Why is that a mouthful for me? So yes, I will repurchase that till the end of time. Now let's go through makeup. Um, a couple of these are honestly some newer ones and some of them aren't. I think I've had, the, <laughs> not this one. I think I've purchased four or five of these bombs. These are the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. I heard about this, I want to say like maybe two and a half years ago from Kalel. She's like an old YouTuber. She doesn't really make, she makes videos, but she doesn't really make like beauty videos anymore. She mentioned this though, and I ran out and got it, and I have never been without it since. I am so picky with lip products, lip products that aren't like colored lip products like I love a good fun lip color lip product you know that I'm not wearing and reapplying multiple times a day because if I do reapply like a fun lip thing all the time like a colored gloss or something like that it tends to actually irritate my lips this was the first lip product that really got me off of Burt's Bees I was a Burt's Bees girl for years and years and years and I just wanted something that was a little bit different and this I tested it out because I like wore it for a whole week, no Burt's Bees, and I just reapplied this to see if it was gonna irritate my lips, and it didn't. This is the scent Banana Kiss. I have the watermelon one, and I've gone through two of the coconut um, hydration ones, just like the original, which I'm gonna repurchase another one of those. But the banana one, I think I've gone through like four or five of them. They're good. I still have the watermelon kiss one in here, which is a bit more tinted than I prefer, which is why it's not like, on daily rotation but this banana one it's on my lips right now it doesn't look yellow at all but it's just the perfect like cushiony I don't know the perfect amount of hydration and like plumpness to your lips kind of minty I, it's it's the best I'm telling you it's literally the best like every day throw in your bag bomb if I do not have this now it used to be if I didn't have a bird's bees when I left the house forget about it my lips would be trash now it's this it's I've been talking about it for years and you guys know this guy I think I tried this again like three years ago um, I was obsessed with the urban decay all-nighter setting spray I had used that for again so many years and I found out that there's alcohol in it not that all alcohol is bad for you blah blah blah, blah. but I just decided to try this because the primer that should be in this video the benefit professional primer where is she i think i only have minis left i already have like three of these four of these on backup because i bought the minis um but the primer to this is my all-time favorite primer as well i can't believe i didn't manage to put that in here I should have but it is also my favorite honorable mention so when this launched whenever it first launched I bought it and I've been repurchasing it ever since I think I've gone through three or four of these I have a bunch of minis I'm never without it it's my favorite setting spray in the world it's the most natural looking setting spray in the world I hate the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray first of all it smells like vomit in my opinion second of all it just 
doesn't really do anything for me. This just diffuses all my makeup, makes it look so blended. Uh, it's my favorite. It's so good. Am I going to say that a million times? Yeah, because this is an ultimate favorite. I'm going to repurchase for the rest of my life type thing. So I'm going to say it a million times. Duh. Okay, this guy is the next. I will repurchase this for the rest of my life. I wore the a cosmetic CC cream for all through college and then all through when I lived in Japan and then even when I came back all even even when I worked for Sephora that I probably wore that fragrance or that um, foundation for again 10 plus years love it I still love it I really do but this is my most complimented foundation whenever I wear this you guys are always asking me what I have and I used to hear people talk about that I'm like do they really but y'all really do like you do and it is my most natural looking foundation with like a glow ever I do use it with the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter but this on its own is glowy enough honestly this is the NARS light reflecting foundation I feel like people all went crazy over this when it first launched and then they stopped and I still think it's the best I bought this in my winter shade as well which tells you like I want it in the summer and I want it in the winter it is just great and I've never been a NARS foundation girl most foundations used to break up on me and look terrible on me and so on and so forth now I have drier skin so that obviously stops the breaking apart on me but I hate foundation that looks like foundation and this does not look like foundation it's my favorite if you haven't tried it you need to it's so good and I will never be without this in my life and I don't even know why I wear anything else because it's literally the best the Kosas concealer I was a Tarte shape tape stan again would order that in bulk to take with me to Japan because I couldn't be without it. I was a full coverage queen. I used to break out a lot more than I do now, um, so I don't need as much coverage, and that just is too heavy, and I truly cannot find the right shade for me, which is nuts because I feel like they have a pretty decent shade range, but I just can't find the right undertone. This I blindly ordered online one day, and it's the right everything. It's like my skin. So this is the Revealer Concealer in 04N. I've I've probably gone through four or five of these. I will never be without it. It is my favorite concealer for under eyes, for face, for everything. It's so good. And if you haven't tried it, I'm sure you have. But if you haven't, by some miraculous reason, you should because it's it's great. Um, all right, let's move into that's all like my beauty things. Let's move into one random and then we'll move into like f fashion. And by fashion, I use that super loosely because None of these are revolutionary. <laughs> Let's just get into them anyways. I know. You either love it, you hate it, you own it, you don't. Whatever it is, I love this thing. I am a water bottle girl. I love a reusable. But I love that this is a handle. I like that it fits in my cup holder. It has everything. I love it. I love it. I, I would repurchase this one if... Or I would repurchase the same one if this one got lost tomorrow. I would. I probably wouldn't repurchase my Yeti that I take to the gym. I'd probably look for a different water bottle. That I would repurchase in a heartbeat. I've owned these for 2017, six years. These exact pair for six years. They have like no tread here on here. Um, I drive my feet clearly. But these are my Birkenstocks. If these don't look more, like you don't even see like where my toes going more. Like the whole bottom is just brown. I was watching TikTok the other day and it was like these random things that people found on their like um, Facebook marketplace and somebody listed their like super used Birks and this guy was like reading the description. She's like lightly used, never really worn. He's like, girl, I can smell that picture. Like your feet have like sweat in those. It looks like you hiked the Mojave Desert and I was like I have hiked everything in this. like you can't even see my feet anymore because my feet just everywhere and these are my favorite shoes in the entire world and honestly I wear them every single day in the summer and when I lived in Texas I wore them like every single day except for maybe January and February um they're my favorite shoes in the entire world I honestly probably should get a new pair soon but like I'm afraid that they just won't be as comfy as this so I don't want to get a new pair but I love them. They're such a classic casual shoe. If you watch any of my fashion videos, you know they're probably featured in every single one. 
I would repurchase those tomorrow if I lost them. I would cry, but I would repurchase them tomorrow if I lost them. Another pair of shoes that I just don't think I'll ever be without a style of on running sneakers. Ever since finding on running sneakers, I find that, and if you didn't know, that's what this little symbol is. It's on. Fun fact, the like term QN sneaker has is like so trending on uh, Google because people don't know that they're actually on and I myself also searched QN. Our friend in Dallas um, wore these sneakers years ago and I saw them and I was like those are really cool and he talked about how um, his he's had back surgeries and issues and how the like split sole is really good his um, podiatrist recommends them and so I saw a pair and I really loved them I've gone through two pairs Scott's gone through three pairs um, and they're just really good sneakers. They hold up really well. Um, and I love the way they feel. I love the way they look. And I will never be without a specific pair of, or any pair from them. I've tried two different styles. Scott's tried three different styles and I love them. So whether you're into just casual walking, they've got hiking shoes, they've got waterproof shoes, they've got running shoes, they've got it all. They're pricey, but honestly, I feel like they're worth an investment and these are my newest pair and these are my obsession I wear them gym I wear them to walk I wear them casually they're so comfortable like I forget to take them off in the house and that's gross I know but I do all right I work out pretty much every single day I would say during the week I work out like yeah five days a week at least and these are my favorite leggings of all time I've tried them all I haven't tried them all. I tried the good ones. I've the Lululemon aligns. They're amazing. These are a dupe. I know you hear that word all the time. Oh, it's a dupe. It's a dupe. It's a dupe. And I used to think other ones were a dupe. But these truly are the most identical dupe I've ever tried. The CRZ Butterlux. Only the Butterlux, though. Don't get the other kinds. The Butterlux are the only ones that compare to the aligns. The shape, the everything, the stretch, the, the material, they literally feel the same. I actually reach for these over my aligns, mostly because I feel like these don't pill. My aligns pill. So they're probably not the exact same material, but I have a pair of aligns that pill like crazy. I still love them. They fit really nice. They're, they literally feel like you're wearing nothing, like honestly, but these don't pill. Oh, some colors do, but they hold up better in the wash. I wash, I dry, they're everything. They're everything. I will say with any legging, if you're gonna try a legging and you're like, oh, they're a, a dupe for the align, never try black. I feel like black, I don't know what it is. They just never get the fabric right. Try a color. The brown in this color, the blue in this, literally feel like you are wearing nothing. It's the best. They're great. They're. You can get them on Amazon, but I also do like have like an affiliate. I don't think I get anything back, but they give me a code to, for you guys. They gave it to me forever ago because I already had bought them with my own money. I also wear their workout tanks every day, but those leggings, I swear, even if I could buy all aligns, I would still wear those because I like them better. So if you're in a line girly, check it out. But one thing I will say that I love from Lulu is the Define jacket. This gray is my favorite. I don't know. They come, it comes back in and out all the time, but like this Define jacket, you can wear it literally with every color, with every everything. It's the most flattering athletic jacket ever. I bought this years and years ago and it's my favorite purchase from Lulu ever. I really do think that it's worth the quality. I'm sure you can find stuff like this on Amazon as well, but I just... I don't know. I love the Lulu one. I would repurchase that exact jacket if I somehow lost it. I would cry, but I would repurchase it. And then last but not least, jeans. And yes, they're Abercrombie. I have really, truly only really ever worn Abercrombie jeans like my whole entire life. Um, I worked for Abercrombie for 10 plus years. And currently their current style that I've been on repeat for the past two plus years are the 90 straight ultra high rise. They also make an amazing pair of skinny jeans. I have those as well. I love their jeans. Their jeans, they just get so right. They fit my body perfectly. So I get the Curve Love 
They're a little bit skinnier at the waist and a little bit of extra room in the hips. Perfection. These are my newest pair, but I own them in I think six or seven colors now. Proud owner of six or seven pairs of the same style of jeans. Once you find a pair, just stick with it. It works. Why? Why? Uh, why change it if it isn't broken? I'd, I tried to go to the Levi's wedgie fit and they're cute, but like my <laughs> my thighs are too thick. I had to go up like two sizes from what my Abercrombie size is and they're so big in my waist that nothing stays tucked into them and unless it's like a bulky sweater and then they're just like still tight on my thighs. So, old faithfuls. I got these in a short so they'd be a little bit more cropped, but love these jeans. They're my favorite. If you haven't checked them out, you need to. I'm pretty sure they're running an insane deal. I literally bought those the other day and online they're under like 70 bucks and in store i think those were like 53 dollars. crazy anyway that's it you guys those are the top 20 things that i would repurchase for the rest of my life if i ran out of or lost any of these items i'm already repurchasing them i either own them in multiple colors the crz yoga leggings i think i own them in eight colors most of the skincare and makeup i mentioned i already have backups right here in this little guy like i'm not without it so if you have the similar similar love for these sort of things in the comments down below let me know but if you used to love something that i love and you found something better tell me do not gatekeep that girl i need to know as well i love this style of video huge shout out this was not my idea laura lee i'm sure i don't know if it was her original idea but i sat through her and i fell in love with the idea because i think it's the ultimate favorites video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything that I did mention will be linked down below if you guys are curious to check anything out. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video.